find the area of the surface of revolution generated by revolving the given plane curve over the indicated interval about the y-axis. So we have that the curve of interest is y equals 4 minus x squared, that the interval of interest is 0 to 2. I've gone ahead and drawn the curve, highlighted the interval of interest, as well as pointed out some of the crucial intersection points. Let's go ahead and take a stab at drawing what this would look like once we revolved it. We'd be giving it some dimension along these lines. And our task will be to find its surface area. To such an end, we should think about our solid, our bell, as a stack of smaller solids. We will think about their surface area and sum them together like any other calculus problem in this uh, chapter. And it's going to be important to realize that the shape that I've drawn here is not a flat cylinder with a little bit of thickness. It's something called a frustum. And its surface area, the surface area of our arbitrary frustum making up the whole bell shape is given by 2 pi r l. And l represents the slant height here, this little thing I have in blue from, from earlier. Of course, we'll need to find a way to be more specific to the variables talked about in this problem. And to that end, it would be helpful to think about the radius of our frustum as being a position along the x-axis. We'll replace r with x in a second. But more interestingly, will be what happens with this slant height, L. We'll have to reason through an expression for that by considering it to be the Pythagorean hypotenuse with a triangle of lengths delta x and delta y. So we know that L should be the square root of delta x squared plus delta y squared. And thinking about delta y squared as the rate of change of the function times the distance along the x-axis of the function, we can do some algebra and find that the length is expressed by the square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared times delta x. This is exactly the same reasoning I used when developing a formula for arc length. And so the surface area of our frustum is given by 2 pi x square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared delta x. And the sum of all of our frustums, you might think, is a summation of sorts on this formula. And so we arrive at the surface area formula in terms of integrals from one limit to the other of 2 pi x multiplied by this thing, which independently is a differential arc length. So all that said, and we have an integral to calculate our surface area is going to be the integral from 0 to 2 of 2 pi x square root of 1 plus, oh, hold on, let's find out what dy dx squared will be. Usually useful to do this separately. dy dx, if y is equal to 4 minus x squared, dy dx will be negative 2x. And dy dx squared nothing more than 4x squared. So that's what we're going to put there. Not a difficult integral when we consider using a u substitution. So u could be equal to 1 plus 4x squared. And du dx, the derivative of u with respect to x, 8x. Do some rearranging, and we find that dx is equal to 1 over 8x du. 
a helpful substitution, as we'll see. Here, instead of dx, we can write 1 over 8x du. So we get to cancel out those inconvenient x's. All of the simplification, including this 2 over this 8 and this pi, which I will now pull out, pull out of the integral as 1 over 4 pi. An integral from 0 to 2 of square root of u du, which I will write as u to the 1 half power du. Well, I should say that's from x equals uh, x equals 0 to x equals 2 of u to the 1 half power du. We have changed the variable of integration after all. So we can do something with that. Since u is equal to 1 plus 4x squared, that means that when x is equal to 0, u is equal to 1 plus 4 times 0 squared, which is 1. And when x is equal to 2, u will be equal to 1 plus 4 times 2 squared, which is 16. 1 plus 16 is 17. So we can write rather the integral, or 1 fourth pi integral from 1 to 17 of u to the 1 half power du. And that's a trivial one. We have 1 fourth pi of u 3 halves power divided by the new exponent of 3 halves evaluated from 1 to 17 or 1 fourth pi times 2 thirds u to the 3 halves power evaluated from 1 to 17. Just pretty that up a little bit. And my calculator is telling me from the fundamental theorem of calculus that this is equal to 36.18 uh, or so.